Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be talking about how to open RAR and zip files. We're going to be using this program called 7-Zip. It's actually a free program, and it opens more than just RAR and zip files, but that's the only thing I use it for. So most people know a program called WinRAR, which is uh, really popular, but it costs money, too. Um, it looks like this. You know, it's real simple. And 7-Zip looks like this. Basically, it looks like the same thing, almost, except for little different images on the top. So, they basically do the same thing, except for the um, file types are a little bit different. If I look at the WinRAR website, there's um, about the almost a lot of the same types of files, like CAB and ARJ is still on here, CAB and ARJ. So basically you're getting the same thing as WinRAR except it's free. So this is not a comparison video, so let's get on to the 7-zip. Okay, so go to the link in the description, I'll lead you to this page, 7-zip.org. Um, and then from here, click, um, for Windows, click right here to download the EXE. If you have a 32-bit system, click on the EXE, and if you have a 64-bit, then click on the MSI. Um, I don't think this works for Mac, so, uh, sorry about that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I have 30-bit, so I'm going to click download on the EXE. And it's going to bring me to this page, and it'll prompt the download in a few seconds. Okay, so here it has the. I'm just gonna click save, and it's already downloading. And I'm just opening it. Run. And then I'm gonna install it and finish. And it's that simple. That's basically the whole installation. Okay, so now you can open the program, or you can just do this find a zip file, which I have right here. Um, so this is an auto clicker, which basically is like so it would, it um, can click multiple times in one place without you actually clicking. Okay, so as you see right here, it says zip file. Yeah, and I'm going to um, right click and then say open with. Oh, sorry. Okay, right click open with, and then click seven zip file manager. Okay, so now it already has all the files that are in this zip file. And I can just extract these. So I'll just click extract. And I can choose where I want to extract it. And now I extract it to this folder. And they're right here. That's how simple it is. Um, then you can just exit out and you can delete this zip file. And yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching and comment where you subscribe.